Daddy, how how do you make girls like you? What's good, Connect Squad? The full video, the full episode of you meeting Lil Ron Ron's girlfriend is live now. At the end of this video, there will be a link that you can click right on the screen that'll take you straight to the episode. This video right here is going to be how I made the episode from start to finish for everybody who wants to get into animation or if you just want to know how I made the episode, that's what this video is going to be. If you just want to skip watching this video and you don't want to support and you want to just go straight to the episode, that'll be in the description down below. But I would truly appreciate it if you guys watch this video to see how the episode was made and to see why it takes so long. Um, if you don't want to, click the link in the description down below and check out that first episode on the new channel. Episodes are going to be posted on that channel. Stay subscribed to both to help us get this cartoon on TV. And I'll see y'all after the video, man. So the first step to making an episode is drawing all the backgrounds. That's the first thing I always do whenever I'm doing an episode where I have to um, put them in a different scene. So I just start off doing the backgrounds first for every um, scene in the episode. And for this one, they're going to a birthday party. So the first thing that came to my head was a backyard. Um, I don't know why. You could have birthday parties in all types of places, but I've been to a lot of backyard birthday parties. So... I made I started working on the backyard as you can see um it looks like it went very fast but it probably took me like almost two hours to draw this background and this is me just drawing it from scratch um I had inspiration from Phineas and Ferb because when you when you think of a backyard like where kids are that's like the first thing that came to my mind I don't know why so that's why I got this this kind of um idea from the way it's drawn up um, I had to throw some tables and stuff back there just to make it look like it was a pretty cool birthday party. The second step to every episode is doing the mouth movements. That part takes the longest. So what I do is I just go through and pick every part where he's going to talk and make his mouth move to match that. The third part, step three, is where I go through and I draw all of the new characters, if there are any. So in this episode, there's Lil Ron Ron's girlfriend that you meet and the girlfriend's mom. I had to draw up two characters, but here I'm showing you how I drew up his girlfriend. Um, I kind of went off of some description from like a really, really older episode where he said uh, there was a girl that in his class that liked him or that he liked so I kind of just went off that description there and drew a little girl off of it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I don't know how you guys imagined her, but I know everybody in like every single episode was saying make Lil Ron Ron a girlfriend. So here she finally is. And I think I did a pretty good job. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Or let me know what y'all think she should have looked like. But drawing the new characters is like one of the best parts of doing this part of the video. The next and uh, this is almost the final step is just going through and doing the final animations. This is where I go through and I make sure everybody's moving at the right time. Make sure their eyes are moving. Make sure um, if there's people in the background, I have to make sure they are moving. This part kind of takes a long time. This scene was a little over a minute long. And I'd say this took me about four to five hours to animate this whole thing. So all together, if I did an episode start to finish, it usually takes me for about two minutes. It usually takes me about 10, I'd say 10 11 hours to get it all the way finished from start to finish but once i get to this part this is like the best part and then finally i just watched the episode through over and over to make sure that everything looks good animation wise hey everyone hey stranger i wasn't expecting to see you here I this know, is why right? i check everything in the, in the background make sure it's but moving make sure I everybody's moving at the right point i knew it was on <laughs> 
I love this part because when I get to this, I know that I'm wrapping he, up the episode. He went in the house. He said he was going to get some cake. Uh, it uh, took the internet, uh, internet by storm. Uh, little Run Run, uh, who I don't know why we so rarely identify. I guess it's been over a year when I saw that. I said, this is going to be, this is, this is going someplace. Uh, we're joined by Ron. How you doing, my brother? What's going on? All is well. Um... Look, Run Run, what was he created? When was he created? Yeah, what was his birthday? When, is, when was he created? When did you, did you start o- doing this? And August, why? August 26th. That was our first episode, and we coming up on our year anniversary, so we're going we gonna to have a pretty big episode for our anniversary. Um, voice, I mean, you, you're in the radio station. We, we, this, this is what we do. We talk. Okay, then. Um, are you a comedian? Are you, what, what birthed him? What made him come... To exist, and why do so many people connect with Lil Ron Ron? Um, I don't want to say I'm a comedian. I'm more like a, I'm a scripted comedian. I, I, I like to write, and I have to have my punchlines inside my episodes. So when I do do it, it it's gonna be funny. <laughs> uh, we have seen Lil Ron Ron grow up. We've seen the evolution. Oh yeah. Um, from the first episode, tell us the first episode, the full length of uh, Lil Ron Ron. What was the first one? What was his first? How was he birthed? What what did, what did he tell us first? Uh, the first episode, uh, the run run, he answered his mama's phone, and once he answered his mama's phone, and he started going off, he t- he told his daddy that his mama had someone over. Yeah, him, that was the wrestler. Is that the first one? <laughs> it's the one that bought him the pool. Oh yeah, hey, I got a new pool. What you get, get a pool from? It hit so close to what young people. Because run run is about what five or six. He's six years old. Uh, it hits so close to the reality of people. How do you? What What did you find the the material to write? And what does it come from? Out of what experience? I'm gonna tell you. Like I was telling everybody, it's like I used to do videos a while back, and uh, I did my first episode of the Run Run, and it just it went off. It went crazy. Um, four four eight nine two two seven zero three. Uh, we also have Brandon here. Brandon is the animator, and we seen the run run um, from the the evolution of those who followed the first when finding Lil run run developed um, character. He is always fresh. He always got on the nicest shoes, jays, whatever the latest is. Uh, Brandon, tell us how did you? Uh, you know, we talked to you all before. Um, how did you hear about run run? And then I think you said you wanted to illustrate. You could bring this thing to life. Because you had the voice that was very distinct, very uh, 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 clear, but you wanted to put life into it. How did the two of you all connect? I started watching his videos on Facebook. I seen him down my timeline. I watched the video and I was like, man, this is hilarious. Like, I sat there laughing at it for a while. And then I was like, man, I feel like if we turn this into a cartoon, it'd be crazy. So I inboxed him on, I think, Instagram. I think I inboxed him on there and just told him about it. I was like, man, we could turn this into a cartoon. I got like an idea for it. And then he sent me over like a picture of one of his baby pictures. And I, uh, I started drawing a little round around based off of that. So that's why I went. So he did a post where he showed his baby picture and a little round around right next to it. And it looked just like him. So I started drawing that up. And we put that first episode out just to put it out there and see how it did. And overnight it did like over a million. And then ever since that first episode, as you can see from like the first episode to like the episodes we got now, it's looking a lot better. Since yeah, then, yeah. I've yeah. pretty much just been like self teaching myself uh, mm-hmm. how to do animation better and stuff like that. So I've been teaching myself that whole time. So that's why the difference from the first season to like the season we own now is a lot better with the animation and stuff. I've been working like that. Ren, how did you, did you, when did you realize you had a sellable project? A sellable product, rather, because now you got on, you wearing the apparel. Oh yeah, um, this one our older T-shirt right, right here, <laughs> and uh, there are millions and millions of people who look at that uh, little run run. We'd be waiting on the episode. Sometime I'd be mad at you, <laughs> and they ain't coming out fast enough. I'd be wondering what did run run up to now. Um, did you know that you had some? Because I'll be honest with you, um, the minute I saw it, uh, I started sending it around. I said, maybe he don't know what he have here. This could be developed into a full. I mean, this could be the next Flintstones, this could be the next Jetson, it could be the next... I knew it was going to be something big. I knew it. Yo, she just kicked my mans in the face.
Whoa, what is you on? Bro, what is... Oh, it's a lump of clay. Bro, it's time to go home. We is not... No. Go home, bro.